Hey guys, Spartan here. Welcome to Don't Starve Hamlet. This is still in early access, so, um, I don't know when it's going to be finished, but, uh, yep, I, uh, spent some time unlocking the characters, because last you saw from me doing Don't Starve, I didn't have any of my characters unlocked. Because reason. So, I'm gonna start a new world. I played a little bit of, a uh, Hamlet, but, yep. I believe you can make it Reign of Giants compatible. No, you can do Reign of Giants and then into Hamlet, but not Hamlet itself. Right, I don't know what DS itself is, it's, I guess it's just base game, so, it's very confusing, like, can't you just have compatibility with all of them? Hopefully. At any rate, I have all mods disabled, you'll notice, because I have no mod characters to the left of, uh, Wilson, which is why all three worlds showed up as Wilson. Uh, so I'm gonna play as my main, which has always been weak for it ever since, like, I really started. Just because I like her playstyle, I spawned in like a hundred million mandrakes to get myself all the experience, and there's a new character here, who I have not tried yet, and I probably won't for a fair while. He is the same, like, picky eater crockpot shit as Wally from uh, Shipwrecked, but who cares. The only problem is that uh, Wally starts with a crockpot and the other guy doesn't. I'm gonna be playing uh, Wigfred, of course, because her playstyle just suits me, even though I know one thing, and it's that, like, gold is ridiculously hard to get in this world. I'm just gonna be playing Default Worlds, yes. Blah blah blah, we know how uh, Hamlet is early access. So Hamlet, of course, isn't done yet. There's a few things that are a bit problematic. One, for example, is that there is poison in the game, but there is no actual cure for poison, because the cure for poison was in Shipwrecked, and... You can't get coral in this game, so if you're poisoned, you just have to tough it out for like the three days that it sits on you. You're gonna be taking a lot of damage, most likely. Ah, uh, it's a chameleon. Nice two point landing. Out of ten, that is. Ooh, magic chameleon. Right, so. One thing I've noted is that uh, you start with a machete. Machete, if you ask me, is one of the uh, worst designed mechanics in all of Don't Starve. Being that, you know, you have these stupid, like, example, tall grass. You can't just pick grass, you have to use a fucking machete. Machete is just like, oh hey, you like grass? Well, too bad. Also, these plants are food, potentially. There's exotic flowers, asparagus. Can't eat those because I'm weak for it. I'll be bothering to get those once I have a crock pot or something, but, yep. Yeah. I've noticed there's already a bunch of weird new stuff. You got these rainforest trees. So, uh, let me give my thoughts on the first few things of this game. That's a fucking huge dumb needle. And that is that one thing is that flint is very hard to find. You can flip these stone slabs to get junk from them. That's a gummy slug. I don't know if that counts as meat or not. That will fit in mine belly, so I'm guessing that is meat. This is like the rainforest area. I think those are like the equivalency of the merms. I don't know, I haven't played enough. I got to six days and then I kind of stopped. Hey, look, there's some flint, that's good. Yeah, flint is just hard to find. With these overturned rocks, you'd think this is, uh, don't starve together. But it's not. That's a peacock. Dost thou hide from me? I'm gonna need logs. Always. Wait, is this a log tree? Yes it is. Okay, I know there's some trees that don't give logs, they give cork. Some garbage. That hide from me. So, you shouldn't steal stuff that's in these guys' territory, otherwise, like, you'll get attacked by the guards. Warfish labor. You can actually give stuff to these people and they'll, uh, give you money, because, yes, there is currency in this game. Or more points. It's an anagram for a coin. I don't want to keep the rocks for now because I don't need the coins. There's obviously a city over there. Um, I'm wanting more base gear before I do that. Is this a... No, it's just a claw palm tree. Are these the ones that drop cork? Cork is uh, used for very little. It's like, kind of useful. There's a cave here. I need a pickaxe. And in order to get that, I need flint, which is hard to get, as it is. The reason I'm not bothering with these things is they run too fast. They're effectively the uh, turkeys of this game. We all love turkeys, don't we? 
So, there's some stuff you can get called uh, iron ore, which is used to make stuff. Oh my god, fucking net. Well, that is uh, not good. I need to light something on fire. Actually, no, I need to find a light source other than uh, fire to actually get these gnats away from me, which kind of sucks. Can't really attack gnats because they're, uh, no. They're kind of an enemy, but they're not really an enemy. I just basically need to find a light source. Thankfully, there's a town over here somewhere. They should have lights. They deal tiny damage and they reduce your sanity, but other than that, they don't really do much. Okay, there. Um, gnats will spawn around light, which is... I mean, it works for me. Pig guards don't even sleep, they just hold out their torches. One thing to take note of is that if you try and engage in a fight with the pig guards at night, they will obviously attack with their torches, meaning... They'll deal less damage, but they will light you on fire. Also, this is an Iron Hulk, you don't want to, uh... Well, you can mine this if you have a pickaxe, but you probably don't want to because it actually becomes an enemy. Oh yeah, those are Thunderbirds. They're effectively just birds. That's... that's really it. And they attack you with lightning, which we saw earlier. Barely does any damage, however. Oh yeah, there's a new tab, uh, Treasure Hunting. Make some disarming tools for disarming traps, but we haven't found any traps yet because we aren't going exploring yet. It's not really worth going exploring until you have a pickaxe. Something that, uh, I've already explained before that we need flint, which is hard enough to get as it is. Also, these are tuber trees. They, um... I believe... What do you need to cut these down? A machete? Yeah, you need a machete. They give potatoes. Except they're poisonous potatoes. And even if I wanted them, I would have no use for them, because I'm playing as Wigford, who only eats meat. And you cannot put them in crockpots, so they're, like, double useless. Hey, look, a flint! That's, like, one. Oh, there's another one over there. Perfect, now I can make a pickaxe. I just hope these damn gnats don't swarm all over me. Granted, sanity is not really a huge issue for Wigford. At least, don't starve Wigford, and don't starve together, she's been nerfed into a, you know, the ground. She's useless in Don't Starve Together. I mean, the only reason people play Wigford is her, like, crazy regeneration, most likely. Now, yeah, let's cook some slugs. Cooked gummy slugs. Eating meat. That reduces my sanity by how much? Five points. Oh, well, it's food, so who cares. I simply need to find a thing to kill, and then I'll probably be fine. Because in this game, of course, not Don't Stop Together, which most people actually play. Uh, Bigford gains instead, like, what is it, 25% of the attack value of whatever she kills as sanity. Oh, I could use the glowflies to attract the gnats. Nature is teaching me things. These things are annoying. So there are radishes, that's kind of rad. Ish. So exotic flowers are just flowers. That's pretty much all they are. I'm pretty sure the glow flies are just like butterflies. Yep. Didn't even drop anything. Oh, drops glow bulbs. Yeah, or light bulbs, whatever you want to call them. Interesting. Right, it is time to craft a pickaxe and actually make some progress in this journey. Because, I mean, without the pickaxe we can't get more flint, and without more flint we can't do pretty much anything. Right, so I just checked the map and there's a cave up the top left. I believe I saw it before, but I was too preoccupied with something else. Get out of here, you stupid bug. I don't care about you. Damn dung beetles. Um, oh yeah, I would need a torch here. Actually, I think I'll need to build a campfire. I think I'll actually have to do both. Damn it. Uh, I don't need these pedals. Just make some space. Oh yeah, there's at least a bit of light here. So you can mine these, uh, stalagmites. This is pretty much, like, I believe that, uh, miniature things add use in Don't Stop Together, but it's been ages since I played that. This is pretty much the only way you can get gold. And it's stupidly hard to get, of course. Hang on, why isn't pickaxe, like, 
really over here. Good for you. You're supposed to be able to mine in the dark. You can mine these unimportant rock pillars, but, um, yeah, the cave may collapse if you do. So try not to do that unless you're absolutely desperate to get materials. I can build a science machine, almost. Actually, I can. I just need to find a good place for it. Look at all this tall grass. Too bad it's really not worth digging up. I also had a shovel. Could make a shovel. Probably. Maybe worth my time. You know what? I'll build a permanent base elsewhere. I can build a ball pane hammer, which is like... This is used to smash fragile things and gain treasures, supposedly. I think I need a shovel. Oh, what? Digging up tall grass doesn't, you know, give you the grass itself? That sucks. Game. Can you say tedious? I can. T I D U S. Yeah, that, that's how you spell it, right? Well, at least I have a, a backpack now so I can actually store some of the garbage I make. I need this hammer for later. Not now, though. I actually want to kill one of those uh, pig guys. What's next on my to do list? I need to make a alchemy engine. So I need. A lot of wood, a lot of stone, a lot of doodads. This, the Weevil, terrible. No, this is just a lone pig guard, isn't it? Um, no, he has little friends nearby. If You can kill, you know, lone pig guys, but it doesn't really help. Actually, no, it does, it is helpful. You can gain uh, meat and stuff from that, from killing them, obviously. However, one thing to take note of is that, yeah, other guards will immediately rush to the protection of the first one. Ah, it's a snake! Die, please. Oh, that was really easy. I mean, I guess I am playing as weak for who has a high attack value. Opinion. Weak for is much better in combat than Wolfgang due to sheer consistency. Oh, what? Um, apparently one of the pig guards died here. It must have lit a tree on fire or something like that. That would explain why all the tall grass has just been destroyed. Well, okay then. Got some murderous pig here. It dropped a uh, halberd. Halberd is actually... I believe it's actually stronger than the battle spear, but it has much lower durability. It can be used as an axe, however, so it has a, you know, a fair bit of use to it. Right, I'm gonna need more gold and more rocks for me to make an alchemy engine. I can make one electrical doodad, so I'm gonna need a fair bit more stuff. And at least I'm close to making an alchemy engine. I probably need to mine those, you know, not important rock pillars or something like that. What else was iron ore used for? I believe you can make a smelter or something like that. Lantern. Owl. Find a hat. I like if you harvest grass that doesn't belong to you, or pretty much anything that doesn't belong to you, it plays the combat music. I'll just leave that grass there, I have 23. I don't need it at the moment. Oh, what, you wanna fight? Pathetic. Oh, one thing I've got to mention is that if you are going to the caves, there is a, you know, hole here. Uh, this hole just spawns spiders at night time. I should probably light a campfire while doing this, actually. Let me get some wood first. Right, let's mine these uh, unimportant rock pillars. Let's hope the cave doesn't actually collapse. It's one. Oh! Blue gem, nice. I can use this to make a magnifying glass, which um, I believe it helps you find things. Did that drop anything? Hard to see. These are just all mini earthquakes. Some rocks. You know what? I shouldn't badmouth rocks because at least they're useful. I'm just kind of tempting fate by doing this. Maybe I'll get something useful eventually. Also, neither is as useless as it's ever been. At least I'm pretty sure it is. You know what? How much health do I have? I have 200 health. I'm pretty much 
secured in terms of damage. The rock hits me, it won't even do much. And I'm gonna exit the uh, cave in case it collapses. I believe when the sound stops, I can end up again. Okay. Oh, what's that? It's a weird beetle. Ah, get it away! Oh, that didn't last long. A worthy beam. It doesn't look very worthy. Broken. Oh, hello there. Well, that was, uh, not as important as I thought it would be. Can't mine that again, can I? Nope, it's broken. Well, I got actually surprisingly little out of that. Didn't get any gold. I'm gonna have to find some more. You know what, let's go into the ruins, see if we can find anything there. I have a ball pain hammer, so I can potentially do stuff. Oh. Smash. You need to use this, don't I? Probably need to set up something good. Oh, hey, gold nuggets. Nice. I can't chisel that anymore. Hey, more gold. Beautiful. That kind of works. I probably want a lantern or something to actually spend more time down here. Shouldn't be hard to get. I really like the music in uh, this game mode. Right, so we just find some cut stone, some electrical doodads, one, two, three, alchemy engine. There we go. I'll just find a place to plop that down later. When I need it. Not right now, though. Also, people say Wigford is ridiculously hard to feed, but I'm on day three, and I've just now gone through my starting stakes. That proves how easy she is to, you know, contain. I mean, just the stray bird here and there, and voila. Easy. I only cut down one of these stupid cork trees to show you how terrible they are. Stop making that noise, Jesus. Now, these give you, uh, cork. Material of many uses, not really. You can't even make a campfire out of them. The only use it has is to burn it, but it doesn't even burn, so, like, why would you even need it? Terrible. Alright, so next on my list is a lantern. Make a cork candle hat, but, like, really? You know what? I actually haven't made one of those before. Let me just make one now. I'll see if it's actually useful. It is a light source, so. Perhaps I can use my hammer to actually do junk. Of course, it would mean that I would have to unequip my battle helm, but do I really need the battle helm? The answer to that is a probably a uh, yes. And again, I am good at kiting in this game. However, I'm not really good at kiting enemies I don't know what are. See, how much light does this give? A bit. Not too much. Chiseled stone. Oh yeah, these are doors. I shouldn't click into door while it's loading, otherwise bad things will happen. Oh. Well, there's a stone thing here. It seems that the doors are closed. It's odd. Do I need to drop some enemies to open the doors? God damn it. Uh, I have a rock. Yes, way down. Probably shouldn't have done that. Oh, you, uh, step on one again and then it just, you know, it doesn't work anymore. Next room. You have pots. Examine a smashing pot. Yes, that's great. You can use this to smash, right? No. What do I use to smash? A hammer? I don't have a hammer. What do you think I'm made of? Hammers? Oh, damn it. There's everything in the wrong space. I can't control F to actually attack them, so... Wow, this hat lasts, like, no time. Okay. Ah, uh, it's a scorpion. I don't want to fight scorpions. Right, I'm gonna get out of here before my hat breaks. Note to self, get a, uh, better implement to explore with. Wait, I can fuel it. Not with coal, I can't. 
Well, this is perhaps the uh, worst item in all of uh, Don't Start history. Never gonna be using that again. Is that a clockwork rook? No, it's a hippopotamus. You know what? I should stop putting such terrible puns, you know. You know what? You've just been annoying me. Thick dung ball. That sounds like a totally logical idea. How much sanity is this gonna cost me? Zero? All it contains is shit. And rocks. And flint. But flint is kind of useful. Oh, I'm actually taking, like, the teeth out of the statue. Well, okay then. You know what? The sound here is actually so good, I thought that the music was, like, the bird sounds were happening in real life because my window's open. So I was like, oh, it's so ambient, like, you know, I wish the birds would shut up so I could actually listen to the game, but nope, the birds are the game. I believe this is the deep, deep jungle biome that has, like, hanging vines, which, you know, are not the, the this thing, hanging vines. You got some that can attack you and some that can't. Also, I believe it's like automatically encounters nighttime or something like that. Weird. You know what? I'd probably do that if it were daytime, but it's not, so I won't. That's called logic. Crumbling brazier. Can I fuel this? I can. Well, it looks like I found a place for the night in this jungle. Uh, can I chip this? Yes, I can. Oh, I got a relic fragment. I believe that you can sell these somewhere. What do I need for a hammer again? I need rocks. Well, that's the one thing I've had trouble finding this entire game. Daytime. Oh my god, what is this? It's a spider monkey! I don't really think I want to find that without some form of recuperation after the fact of me fighting it. Nope. Walk in seat scorpions. Nope. That's my thoughts, exactly. What I'm trying to do is actually, like, find a proper hamless town. Not like a, a shitty one like the last one, you know, one that has actual roads and junk. A place where I can actually settle down for a moment. Like, you see here, there's the stuff and buildings, but, you know, it doesn't have anything major. So I'm gonna check through this jungle. Maybe there's something here. I don't like the looks of this, but I think it's poisonous. Yep. I can't that. As much. Oh, there are bats above me. Or something. Well, whatever biome that is, I just can't enter it. Oh, well. Vine traps and seedlings. They're fighting vines. Is that rope? Free rope. That seems to be stronger than the ones in the base game, so that's something. Also, I want that rope. Give me the rope. Yes, it's free. It's free. Ow! More relics. It's good. I explored a good chunk of this forest, and all I could find was money. That's literally it. Well, at least I have a hammer now. What the hell is that? Oh, poisonous dart frog? Well, I know one thing, and one thing only. It's that do not fight anything with poisonous in its name. Are you hostile? Judging by the fact that you look like a clockwork rook, I'd say so. No. I fight it. Do I fight it? Yes, I have to fight it. Oh, it's got a slam attack. Oh, I kind of want to separate it from its buddy over there. God damn it, these things are just not wanting to be separated from each other. Oh, hey, cuts down trees really easily. There we go, one down. Oh, these fucking dog things are eating my food. You pests. Yeah, you, fight these things. I'll just use... Yeah, there you go. You fucking piece of shit. 
Well, I found my arch enemy of the series, it's these fucking dogs. You, you're almost dead. Give me the food. Damn pest. What are you expecting? Free stuff? Get out of here. I got a hippopotamus antler. They apparently don't stack, so that kind of sucks. New game, don't stack. None of the items stack. You have to carry all your charcoals individually. Truly is a nightmare of a game. I wonder what the pen golden drops. You know what? I have nothing to lose. I'm guessing it's just like a pangolin, which it goes, uh, curls up to protect itself. So by attacking when it doesn't do that, I should probably, you know, be able to kill it pretty easily. Oh, it's just running away. I was expecting to keep armoring up. You coward. Get out of the darkness. Oh well, I guess I'll get it when morning comes. You can die too. Hey, I got loading lag, which means that that actually really helps with me kiting. Or catching enemies that I usually can't catch. I have no use for whatever that is. There are key trees here. I believe that those are just the uh, common tree now in this game. I should keep saying this game instead of this game mode. Oh, pfft, there's a there's a road over here, so this is probably an actual town. What do you need? Rope? I have rope, but I kind of want it for myself. I believe one of these guys wants gems. Jewels. I only need one blue gem, so what do we give me for this? Ten coins. That's pretty useful, actually. So yeah, these pigs kind of want junk. You can sell them, whatever. I need to drop something. I can find another one of those banker guys. Uh, is this the same guy or is it a different one? Okay, I have 20 coins which I can use to buy stuff. Uh, these are just houses. Is there a store somewhere? That's a city hall. I'm supposed to find like a museum or something. Academy, is this the place? Uh, yes. I 10 piece oink for lost idol, lost totem, relic fragment. <laughs> There we go. Now I have 40 monies, which is pretty good, I guess. You can buy these, uh, things. It's graveyard junk, but I see no reason to have them. I mean, the only reason was to, like, bloody, uh, whatchamacallit, give them for gold. I believe there's a big town somewhere. Huh? What? Enemy around here? Oh, it was... But whatever it was, it dropped vine and leafy meat. I'm guessing it was one of those, yeah, these things. Can I fight you into the town? Get the pig guards to attack. Yeah, you guys kill it. Uh, so these pig guards are like, really, really strong compared to the normal pigs because they have weapons instead of just fighting barehanded, so... If you actually can convince them to join you, I believe you have to buy something in order for, you know, for them to do that. Then, you can actually get some pretty damn good protection from them. You know, remember that old video of that guy taking a million pig kings to slaughter all of the spider queens? Yeah, kinda like that, except actually really effective. You know what, this is actually a pretty good spot for, uh, putting my permanent base. I mean, there's pigs around, there's... Pretty much everything really close. Old pen and gold, actually. I'm close to pig guards in case hounds spawn, and yep, this is just generally seems like a pretty good place. Probably start building a uh, crock pot as soon as I can, which I need. What else do I need? Just a bunch of rocks. That shouldn't be that hard to get. Probably buy them if need be. Hey, I can make that lantern I've wanted. There we go, now I may be. Uh, able to inspect those places I wanted to check before. That thunder right here. If thunder strikes and destroys my alchemy engine immediately, I'll be pissed off to an extent. I'm actually going to end this episode here because it's five full days which I've played. Is it five full days which I've played? That was actually like on day six though, so I probably should have stopped it earlier, but yep. 
I'll see you guys in the next video of Don't Starve when I I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna need more rocks to build my base. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.